The weather and traffic together. Going to talk to Kim in a few minutes about what's going on on the roads on this Wednesday morning. But first, meteorologist Quayla Murphy's here with the latest on Ian. Yeah, I'm just tracking the latest data. It looks like we got another update in on Ian, and it's stronger now. It's 155 miles per hour. Uh, so this system is very close to category five status. Cat five system is 157. That's what I was just looking at uh, this morning. We have a hurricane hunter that's uh, flying into the system now. So those data are coming in. And of course, as the updates continue to come to us, we'll present those to you. Uh, but again, this is a really strong system at this point, and it's west of Naples. It's going to continue to build that surge in that water along the coastline. Also, that tornado risk continues along with that flood threat too. So this is a very dangerous storm. I mentioned it underwent an eye wall replacement cycle. So uh, basically the former eye wall has been overtaken by a second eye wall that developed and that allows for the storm to get stronger and also become larger in some cases too. The system is forecast to still be a cat four by landfall later today. That could come around lunchtime, maybe a few hours later. By late tonight, it's forecast to be still a cat one inland 80 miles per hour and then a tropical storm once it passes over Florida and moves back on the eastern side by Friday morning, 50 miles per hour, still a tropical storm. If it has less wind shear and can tap into some of that Gulf Stream, maybe a little bit stronger too. A second landfall comes around Savannah and then heading into uh, Saturday morning, 35 miles per hour by Sunday. It's still forecast to be at 30 miles per hour on the western side of North Carolina, but it could easily be a little bit more to the east. So that's why we tell you don't lock into the center. We're still going to focus on the impacts for us and our greatest threat still at this time looks to be flooding potential with the rainfall, which will start Thursday later in the day. So we're dry today. Heaviest rain starts building in Friday. We'll have that potential through the day Friday and then Saturday and Sunday we'll have off and on showers. Winds will start picking up Friday uh, not so much just with the rain bands, but also just with uh, more winds building in because we have high pressure north of us and of course Ian to the south. Flooding will start to increase for areas Friday in the morning. This won't be widespread flooding. Again, it's localized flooding with some of those bands that we see with heavier rainfall and then we'll have a chance for some power outages potentially too with rain bands moving through. So we mentioned the heavy rainfall threat level two for areas from Lillington south to Fayetteville, Clinton, Pinehurst, Laurenburg level one threat from the triangle and north. That's for Friday. We'll likely see that extended into Saturday too. And we have your updated rainfall totals uh, for the triangle and west three inches, possibly four, four inches spreading down into the sand hills and north and then five inches as we push east of I-95. That's widespread. Some spots will come in a little bit higher, some a little lower. So we're looking at clouds right now. Clouds will continue through this evening, but dry today and tonight. And then tomorrow, a chance for some spotty rain before lunchtime, but then later in the day, 4 or 5 p.m. Thursday into the evening hours, rain starts building in. This is Friday. It's going to be a wet, messy day on Friday with those rain bands, and we'll see a break start to build in late Friday, early Saturday with off and on showers heading into the weekend overall. 71 degrees Thursday afternoon. 65 on Friday with wet conditions, low 70s on Saturday. We're still looking at rain off and on and breezy showers linger Sunday, highs, low 70s. Monday, we're at 68 degrees, still unsettled. And then Tuesday, we finally start to dry out, mainly cloudy, 20% chance of showers, high 71. That's your forecast. There's